<laughs> when I went live. Every time you get a phone call, it it, it, it stops alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we back now. So, like I was saying, we're gonna get in here. We're gonna check out this low quad air layer that we did last year. So I put this low quad air layer on um August of last year. And I didn't take it off last year because for two reasons. One, it didn't look like it had took took yet. And then two, we we've had the discussion before and you've heard other people discuss it. Although this isn't really a tr true citrus tree, it's kind of like a citrus and it has like evergreen type growing properties with it. It's more closer related to the stone fruit. Um, hey, grows it with a uh, zone four Alaska. Hey, um, so this is closer to a rock fruit, but I figured I'd leave it on through the winter, let it wake up in the spring, and then hopefully we would have an air layer. So that's what we're about to do. We're about to get in here and see if we got the air layer. I'll wait to give some people some time to come back in. If you got any questions, uh, let me know while we got a little, little moment while we're waiting on it. But that's the intent. And while I'm here, I'll be throwing a whole bunch of air layers on all these fruit trees that my parents have. Um, we're gonna do, uh, and then we're gonna prune. We gotta prune a lot of this. My dad, he wants to hack this stuff down. It's getting out of, it's getting out of, out of control. So turf and chat, hello. Oh, is that Eric Teller? I think you just commented on the last live, Eric Teller. But thank you. It just came across my screen. Appreciate you. I lost you. I lost you on the last connection. So as soon as we get about, let's see, 20 people, because I want to unveil this with everybody. We get about 20 people in here. Then we'll go over here into this corner. And uh, what's going on, nice AZ lawn? How you doing, man? We'll go over here in this corner and see what's going on with this air layer, all right? There it is. She's been on there since last August. Y'all remember when I was here, what does a loquat taste like? Um, kind of like a plum. Uh, it tastes like its own thing, but kind of like a plum. You know who'd be the better person to ask? My parents, my mom, because she was the one. You see this one, it's already loaded, loaded with fruit already. They don't do anything to these trees. So when you hear people say, you know, dig a hole, put it in the ground, walk away, leave it alone. This, this is the best example of it because I promise you my parents aren't doing anything to it. They're letting all this happen right here. Let me show you. This is what they do. You know how they feed it? Come on, thing, flip around for me now. They let all the leaves drop <laughs> and they leave it alone. That's a dahlia right there that I'm going to throw in the ground while I'm here as well. So we're getting up there, but... So yeah, that's that's it. And then while I'm here, I'm going to try to get some, um, I'm going to try to take some new growth, like right here. This looks like a good portion before we get the pruning. I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four nodes. And I'll probably cut the plant right here to try to root them. Uh, you know, I'll remove all the leaves except probably these three leaves right here. I'll remove these extra leaves off of it though. And I'm going to try to get some um, uh, air layer, uh, some low quat cuttings off of this plant as well. I've never done it before. There's very little information on YouTube about it. I've read a few different articles about it, but we're going to go for it. My brother and I, we're going to go for it. And I'm going to show him how to do some air layers as well. I'm trying out dahlias this year. Hey, you, you're, you're going to love them. What's up, Cam? How you doing? Hey, Aunt Linda. You say I'm in the garden, but listening. Thank you. I appreciate you. What's up, Turf? Uh, that's Cam. Hey, Tommy, how you doing? How are you in my neck of the woods? <laughs> I drove down. That's how I'm here. <laughs> yeah, my parents, they live in Florence. So that's where I'm at right now. All right, so we've been here for a little while. We only got 11. I uh, appreciate the 11 that's in here. But we about to go ahead and open this thing up because I've been, I've been itching to get to this thing for uh, some months now. So get you as close as I can while uh, you being able to see the unveiling let's get in here my hands is ashy and i've been gardening but uh let's see what we got y'all see that <laughs> your boy done did it again look at all those roots yeah all those roots she's ready she's ready so low quiet air layer i left it on all winter and she's ready y'all see the roots She's there. You see him. Let me see if I can get a... Uh, I can't see what y'all talking about in the chat right now. But uh, these are the roots. I'm using this little... She, they done wrapped all the way around the whole bag. 
So that's good. So if you ever wondered if you can do like a dormant air layering, because that's really what this turned into. I did it so late and then fall came so quick this past year. Y'all know that weather was funky. So this turned into like a dormant air layering. It's been on all winter and she's thriving and she has fruit on this branch already. So we win. We win. We did, we did another one. Did the impossible and then did it twice. How about that? Did it, <laughs> did it twice. We got that. We got to win, y'all. Now, let's go on a little tour. I'm going to show you what else I'm going to be up to. Everything that looks really good. I know, right, Tommy? Let me see what else y'all said. That's what's up. Okay, cool. Gave me a hand clap. Appreciate it. So, yeah, we got a successful air layer. We got two. Two out of three. That's not bad for a rookie. Um, and then, just so y'all see how, like, massive this tree is. When my parents planted this tree, what, was like six years ago. It was not that big four out of six of your dollars are coming up did i send those to you unicorn lady tech i know i sent so many i don't even know if i sent them to you but if i did that's a good what do you you did that thing what this your first air layer on the low quad yeah i did all those at the same time i did three at the same time so we also have let me zoom out we got this apple tree right here i don't know what kind she is maybe someone might can tell from the blooms i'm not sure if that's a thing with apples but uh see if we can get her to focus how about that yeah so this is an apple tree um that is in bloom that i'm gonna slap an air layer on that as well well i'm gonna show my brother how to do it so he can have him an apple tree his daughter keeps asking about apples so we're gonna make sure he has an apple and then this is the fig that we took an air layer from we're gonna go ahead and get another one but look the fig tree she already showing up she already got figs okay i sent you four nice i'm glad they came up the one i got with me is sprouting in the bag so i know i must have did something right this one's already loaded with figs though i can see them they're all over these branches high and low this one's already got fruit on it now the one around the corner um and this this is the mom's my mom's little garden over here she's got a she got it uh positioning this perfect but we got the cement mixers and then she got some uh, grow bags, some stuff over here. This zucchini over here took a little hit because it got it got it got really cold down here. But I think it'll bounce back. I think it'll bounce back. And then um, that fig looks like what is that? That fig looks like it wants to feed the family for sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you have a playground in the back for air layering. Nice, right? Exactly. So the fig is going to get an air layer. Another one the um the apple tree is going to get an air layer because she's awake now it's a good time to do it there's a plum somewhere over here but i think i think these i think that's the plum and all this stuff this is what we're going to work on today though either that's the plum or this is the plum and we see why it's struggling right because all this brush i don't know what this is it might be grapes um but then this is the other fig and she doesn't have any fruit on her yet, which is part of the reason why I'm going to be pulling uh, soil samples. But, yeah. But we did it, y'all. We did it. We did it again. We got the air layer. That's two out of three. It's really easy. Um, I might go live again later on in about an hour or so. We got to go pick up this pole saw so we can hack this joker down because it's, like, it's taking over the whole... The whole porch so we need to hack that back it's not really the proper time to do it but my dad he's been doing it the same time of this he's been doing it this time of year and still getting fruit off of it so and he said it's got it's got to come down so i talked him into waiting until i got here so i can try to get these uh cuttings and then hopefully if it goes well they'll be listed in the marketplace here in about a month or so however long it takes but hear me out this is the first time i've done this but this is what i'm thinking this is just my logic right this new growth this new tender growth like this this is what i'm looking for i'm going to take a piece like this and then um let me just go ahead and do it how about that let me let me show y'all what i'm thinking and uh i could be wrong you know i've never done it before but shoot i never did the air layer before and then when i did it it worked out well so let me go ahead and try to pull this off with one hand yep got it cool so, oh, Malik, hold this for me so I can show the people, please. Five dollars. Yeah, five dollars. <laughs> Y'all heard him? He tried to charge me five dollars. Okay, so 
this is the piece right here, this fresh piece. And what I'm thinking, um, this piece has what? We got, we have a node here, here. We got another one here. So these three leads, I'll probably leave all four of these on. Hold so. that still and I'll move the camera. Okay. Yeah. So I got <laughs> this one. I'll take this leaf off. This I'm just walking y'all through what I think is the right way to do. I'll probably take this one off too, right? And I don't know if I'm gonna actually do it with this piece right here, but just give y'all an idea. And then, so I got that, got this piece. And I'm thinking this is going to be a really good piece to try to get rooted because we got fresh growth. It hasn't gone too witty like they used to. And then I'm thinking, I'm just gonna come in Get her to her green, all the green, right? And this is actually a grafting knife, but you know, a knife is a knife and you want a sharp one. And you see, I got it down to her cambium, right? And then what I'm gonna do is, I shouldn't have touched that just now. That's another thing I'll have on gloves because this is very um, tender right here. I just wanted to show y'all a quick, fast example of what I'm thinking, how this is going to work out. So then I'll take this, got that exposed. And um, actually, no, nope, let me back up. What I want to do is make sure I get up to at least a node. That's, yeah, out of the, the research I've been doing, a lot of the times the roots will form out of these nodes as well. So I'll probably, I'm going to nick this node down, bruise her out a little bit. Nice cutting. Yeah. So I get that node. Let me get a node in there. I don't know if that's true or valid. Let's go ahead and scrape up this node too. All right. Yeah. So we scraped up that node as well. Go ahead and scrape this a little bit as well. Get it down to her green, that cambium layer. It's just what I'm thinking, you know. And if somebody knows better than me and you in the chat, you can help me out, help me out. But I'm just using logic, understanding the plant's anatomy and going from there, right? So we got her down to there. And again, like I said, I'll have on gloves later when I do this. Um, I think we're good there. Don't be afraid to jack them up a little bit. Yeah, okay. So we got it down to a node. Two nodes is going... Two nodes. To do wonders. Two nodes is going to do wonders. I got two nodes, so that's perfect. So, I'm going to get her down there. Thank you for whoever said that. Alaskan something. Alaskan grows it. Yeah. Get it coated really well, just like that. Boom. And I'm going to stick it in some cocoa core. That's it. And let her sit. So, this one's ready to go uh, by my logic. And... Keep in mind, I'm going for the new tender growth, new tender growth. And hopefully, you know, we'll have some cuttings here soon. So that's it. That's what I'm spending the rest of my evening doing uh, with my brother and my dad. We're about to go, like I said, pick up this uh, uh, pole saw. And then we're going to clean up some work around here. I'm going to show the little brother how to do some air layers on some extra trees out here. And then as you saw, as you guys just saw here, I'll take this, you take that. Boom. You can actually, if you if there's a little uh, bowl around here or something, a pot around here, Malik, you can um, you can take some of this mix right here, fill it up, drench it, and go ahead and stick that in the hole. Make sure you keep it as, don't uh, poke the hole first because you don't want to rub off that root and the hormone that we just put on there, and we should be good. But that's what I'm thinking. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? Brother tried to get that commission. I know, right? <laughs> he said five dollars. Uh, I give him five dollars. All right, two nodes is okay. Hey, hey, Sim B Day, how you doing? I uh, wish I could get my hands in it today. The dirt, <laughs> Beauty in the Garden in here. Hey, Beauty in the Garden, nice cutting. Hey, Beauty in the Garden, five dollars. You, you is not a rookie anymore. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I tried an air layer last year. Didn't use a rooting hormone, but I will check it this summer. Nice. Yeah. Who else snuck in here on me? sent you four and they did well that's awesome yep and that was my first time doing air layering so hey pits what's that oh we're gonna do a lot uh we're gonna do oh you're gonna try to put them in that yeah okay I sure. just stole it. why not yeah sure why not fill it up with that 
and uh should be good that's that's already coca corn and um perlite so not a lot of perlite a little bit of bone meal so that should be good you're just going to want to wet that because i know it's moist already but it needs to be drenched and then just put it in the garage when you're done but we can get probably about 10 of them in there so that's perfect i like it teamwork make the dream work um but what y'all got going on today hmm? anybody else doing anything funky fun this weekend you know happy easter to all um diddy love hey what's going on diddy love how you doing girl i ain't seen you dropping a video in a minute i like that parking lot chronicles <laughs> you got some characters you work with for real <laughs> uh, what else we got going on but yeah so we're going to get the apple air layer on we're going to, and this is the perfect time to do it when the plants are starting to wake up early spring get after it and um don't let the tree being loaded with fruit uh deter you uh just find little spots like i did you know is there any holes in that that's a problem. Oh, they're not staying in this, are they? When you put them in there, we're not going to leave them. Mm. So they're, they're going to need the root in there. I just need to get the drill. Yeah, you need to drill. You need to put some holes in that. So pour that back in. Yeah. Any questions, though? Any questions? Easter egg hunt in the backyard. Hey, this backyard is big enough for it. We're taking them over there to the garden. I already took them. I'm putting in your raised, you putting in your raised beds. That's what I'm talking about, Sim B. I dropped a crazy one yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna come check it out. Still cold here, but I will just be starting more seeds and plotting up. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm a viewer today. I can't do anything out there. Why not? Tommy, you live like, you like 30, 40 minutes away from here. What's going on? Did I miss something? Are you just not feeling well today? Y'all watch me do it. This is the first one. It's the first one. Low quat cuttings. Hey, you, we know this produces. Hey, you scared me over there. Oh, that's a hole. Got to get it done. Yeah, that's a hole. Uh, uh, I use growth hormone to multiply my box boxwoods. Nice. I'm a viewer today. Yeah. Low quat. Left it with three leaves. I think they're gonna do well, I really do. Especially if I can keep finding tender growth like this. Take the tender growth like this and I think we're in there. Like I say, it's not a lot, of, it's not a lot on this out there. It really isn't, but uh, we gonna make it do what it do. Just use your brain. Hey BB, how you doing? Hola. I got your stuff in the mail next week. First thing next week, as soon as I get back. Your first day, that first dose of messing with your lupus. Yeah, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel you got your first you got your first shot today. Yeah, they were giving them out like crazy back home. Uh, they got a huge batch in. I told everybody, bring your wife, bring your kids, bring everybody. Come and get a shot. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's it. So if you're interested in doing the air layering or grafting, this is the perfect time if you're in the zone. I would say after this last little cold snap came in, I don't think... Oh, we're done. I, I think 7B and below uh, are, are sky-free. Me, I'm in 7A. I think I still got one more coming. Because um, I had one. If you remember last year, it was Mother's Day. I had to run outside and put covers over everything. So I'm going to put everything... Yeah, feel better, Tommy. Um, I'll put 18 and other kids. I missed something. Uh, 18, oh, you meant like they was giving them out to everybody. <laughs> My wife's a nurse. She in here correcting me. Um, I think tonight is our last night. Yeah, I think I think y'all about done. I think tonight is going to be our last one and you'll be in cruise control. And yeah, what's cool, what's, what's cool, well, she might be. She's in Columbia. I said, I got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> she might be. Y'all was getting colder than we were. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost on the water up there in Maryland. Y'all were getting colder than we were. Yeah, so now you can take that probe, that soil probe. Yeah, that's and what just, I was going to use. Yeah, and then once you, yep, and just stick her in there. And then tuck her over here in the shade, and we'll just keep doing that. And then that'll be one whole rack, and we'll just leave alone. Yeah. It was so cold. Yeah. LOL. Oh, there. Hey, apartment garden. What's going on, brother? How you doing? I think tonight is our last night. Yep. 
it was so cold. It's getting hot out here. We had to turn on the AC. Well, you in Vegas, Pitts. You know, <laughs> Vegas, we went in October and it was still hot. It felt great. Though. It felt good, but I was using the tunnels and walking between the buildings and stuff. I didn't want to stay on the road too long. It's What's going on? Look at it. It's my first one, Farmer Q. Farmer Q's in the building. So I got a, uh, since I got a little bit more people in there, I'll show y'all again. So this is the first, this is my first attempt at hot. doing a low quat um, cutting. I showed y'all how I prepped it. Uh, my brother, smart guy, he just found a thing. We're gonna put a whole bunch in one container together. Um, Nine so, of them exact. Nine to be exact. So I just slipped it in there. And this is mostly cocoa core. A little bit of perlite is in here, not a lot. It's mostly cocoa core. And then boom, we got our first one in here. So I'll stick that in the shade. Come on, just like tuck that over there in the corner. Three dollars. <laughs> you charging me, racking them up. But check this out. Check this out, Farmer Q. I'm gonna call this dormant, a dormant, uh, winter dormant air layering or something. I don't know. But bow. You see those roots? That boy did it again. Two out of three was a success. So that's what we got. We're gonna do another air layer today and then we're gonna take as many cuttings as possible. But that's what we got, y'all. So it sat on there since August of last year when y'all saw me do that. Epic, right? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so that's what this was about. And then me trying my best, me trying my best to um, get a couple extra things done out here. Like I said, I got Dolly in there that's sprouting in the bag. The Dahlia is sprouting in the bag. So she wants to live. I obviously did that the right way. Um, so we're gonna get this in the ground. <laughs> Sounds like my kids, I'll be film director for some change. Really though, I know, right? <laughs> Charge me, Charge me. What you see over there? I finally identified the plant that I couldn't identify at my spot. By hers? Yeah. What are the? Collard greens. They're collard greens? All right. Collard green. I told okay. you that. All right. I believe you. I told you. If you think they collars, they collars. The, the, her the joints is tagged. They marked. Okay. The, the Dollar Tree ones. All right. <laughs> Dollar Tree collars. All right. <laughs> He's excited because he has an unknown plant in his garden that he thinks he finally had. I think the plant's broccoli. He thinks it's collards. That's his garden, his business. <laughs> cool. But um, yeah, that's it. I, I didn't want to take y'all whole Saturday. I just wanted to share it with you. You going to do fig, grape, plum, and apple with the air layering? No, I'm not doing the grape, but I'm doing the plum. I'm doing the apple, the fig, in the low quad. So I'll be doing four air layers today. And really, I'll probably only do one and then let my brother do the other three. What's going on, SoCal? What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Yes, I'm putting in the work. Don't be like me and they'll be Brussels sprouts. <laughs> they might be, I, I think that they're, they're either Brussels sprouts or broccoli. Just the way that it's growing. The growing habit of me, it doesn't look like a collar to me, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I would love a plum tree. That's what uh, I'll be looking for next. Yeah, my parents, they threw this stuff in the yard at least six, seven years ago. This loquat's not even 10 years old. I think this loquat's like six, seven years ago. My mom, she told me the actual time last time. Actually, there's a picture of me when I came back from Germany the first time, and that's when they had just got the tree. So that would have been, we're coming up on eight years. So this tree right here is eight years old. Yep. Cause it's a little twig in the background. I took a picture right here and I had the, uh, I had the taxis. I picked up the taxis, Jordan 12 retros. And I took a little picture right here on this patio. And uh, the tree is in the corner, tiny little tree. And then they just left it to his own vices and look at it now. It's huge, you know, so. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the live. Catch you on the next one. All right, yep. I would love a plum tree. That's what, yeah, cool, but that's it. Okay for the memories, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got for you. I wish I had more elaborate stuff. Like I said, I might go live later when we actually start getting to work um, and show y'all how we do the air layer. At the very least, I'll, I'll probably go live to show you how to do the air layer 
while I'm showing my brother how to do it. And then we'll go from there. We won't make the same mistake like we did last year. Like I went way too low on this low quad. I shouldn't have went that low. I should have came up higher, but we'll talk about it when I go live. And really the way that, the way that this branch ended up turning out, he has a whole nother air layer that he can slap on this tree. Cause it's like, this thing is growing. It really is. But that's it. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll let you go. I'll pop in later if I can. Y'all take it easy. Um, stay safe out there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Thank you for popping in. Peace.